Welcome to Fiber Shop Tutorial Series. This is the chapter 5 which we learn about the material and shading in Fiber Shop. A material is responsible for shading the hay fibers in the viewport and baking. It defines how much shiny or rough or hair must be and how it should react to the light and physical terms. Fiber Shop has two different material systems. One is used for preview inside the viewport and the other one is designed for the final result in the third-party software. In this chapter, you will only learn about the preview materials. In the next chapter, we take a detailed look at baking and its material system. To access the viewport material properties, simply head to Material tab and Project Settings and open Fiber Material Design tab rollout. Before taking a look at material properties, we define some pre-configured materials for you. You can quickly set the look of your fibers using these presets. It has different styles like brown, red, blonde and black that you can use for your fibers. First parameter defines the main albedo color of the strands and the second parameter defines the secondary albedo color to add variation to the fibers. Color randomness parameter gives you the control over hue shifting of fibers. It's useful to create rainbow effect on the hairs. Root and tip tent color parameters let you to tint the albedo color from the root to the tip. It's useful to create hair dyeing effect on the fibers. For example, if you use black color as root color, you can simulate new ground hairs that restored from dyed blonde hairs. A specular parameter defines how much shiny and reflective your fibers must be. This parameter is useful to create oiled or highlighted hair fibers. Roughness parameter defines how rough fibers must be in the terms of physical reflection. Zero is the most rough value a fiber can be and one is the sharpest value a fiber can get. Be careful to set this parameter correctly because it may affect your judgment on albedo color. Background color parameter has nothing to do with the material. It simply sets the background color of hair blocks. Strands normal parameter is a very important parameter which switches the fiber rendering mode between flat and tube. If you want to have a very sharp flat and a straight fiber, you may want to use flat mode. Fibershop can produce all the shading channels you need to render perfectly physical aggregate hairs. You need to know these channels and their identity to be capable of creating best result in your favorite render engine. To access and view shading channels, simply click on the shading drop list and select the channel you want. Shading channels can be viewed in both 2D and 3D viewports. Shading channel shows the physical base rendering result of the fibers. It's very close to your game engine. Root tip channel shows the grayscale range from the root to the tip. Strand ID channel shows the random IDs designed to each fiber strand. Alpha channel shows the transparent value of the fibers in the grayscale range. Normal channel shows the three dimensional normals of the fibers. H channel shows the depth of the fibers in the grayscale range. Direction channel shows the direction of fibers in an RGB range. Translucency channel shows the thickness of the fibers in the grayscale range. Ambient channel shows the ambient occlusion of the fibers which can be used to simulate contact shadows on the hairs to make them look more natural. Know that you know all the channels you're ready to learn about baking. See you in the next chapter.